What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Tuesday, July 21st. Tech be up, tech be down. And the NASDAQ closed down about a percent. We're about a, an hour and a half after the close. Yesterday was such a massive rally and today is down. But the, the real story is not that tech is down, not that the NASDAQ is down, but it's that all the other indices are up. I mean, the S&P up negligible, just four and a half. Dow up 92, but the Russell up 146. I mean, these things are just trading places from day to day where yesterday the Russell was down and today it's up big. Yesterday, the NASDAQ was up big and today it's down. And so there's no correlation between, you know, the, the NASDAQ and the Russell right now. I mean, they are they are just kind of doing whatever they want. And, you know, there's no clear direction on one being stronger than the other. I mean, they're just kind of bouncing back and forth, bouncing back and forth. Like I said yesterday, I thought the NASDAQ was starting to get weaker and then it just ripped up where the where the Russell is down and vice versa now. So your guess is as good as mine. Eventually, these things will kind of start going together again, or one will take a clear path as they as the stronger indice. But for now, they're just back and forth, back and forth. So that's what's going on in the indices. Taking a look at some of the other stocks. I mean, obviously, tech, the Nasdaq down. So tech is down. Na uh, Amazon down, one point eight three. Not as up as it was yesterday. You know, Tesla. Another big winner yesterday, down almost 5%. So speaking of Tesla, tomorrow on Wednesday, Tesla announces earnings after the bell. Now take a look at this expected move. If we go to the trade tab, this is for tomorrow. But if we look at the three-day options, it's pricing in, and this will go up between now and tomorrow, pricing in a $233 move. I mean, that's just massive. However... You know, a lot of times what we'll do before earnings is we'll sell premium or do some type of iron duck or, or where we have no risk to one side or some type of strategy to take advantage of that implied volatility crush that we typically see after earnings. However, I mean, let's just say that that Tesla closed tomorrow at right at sixteen hundred. Right. And let's just say the expected move is let's just let's just call it two hundred dollars for a for a one day move. That's sixteen hundred. I mean, that's eighteen hundred. It could certainly get there. I mean, it did that just on this random day, and it had to size that size move this random day. Uh, no earnings involved. So let's say close there. We've got 200 to the upside. We've got 200 to the downside. I mean, from here to here, I'm not real comfortable that it's not that it's going to stay between there. Now, you know, typically when I say that, it kind of opens up right where it right where it closed with almost no move. But man, I. Uh, I'm a little nervous to get involved in Tesla over earnings. I probably will wait until after the earnings announcement, see what kind of moves it makes, and maybe do a post-earnings trade in Tesla. But yeah, that is a uh, that's a doozy. I'm not I'm I'm not sure what I'll do there. The other one announcing tomorrow after the bell is Microsoft, and Microsoft is one that I might take a position on. We've got an expected move of 11 bucks in Amazon. Now keep in mind it's only a $200 stock. So it's relative, but we've got, you know, we've got to move up to here, up to here and about down, let's say it closed to 210, about down to here. So a little bit wider range respectively, it looks like. And you know, Microsoft just hasn't been on the tear up and down that Tesla has. So I'm a little bit more comfortable with that one. So we may, may place a trade in Microsoft, probably more like an iron duck is what I'll be looking at there. And so that's tomorrow after the close. Today after the close, we had three earnings, uh, one of which was Snapchat. So if we take a look at Snapchat, let's go, let's go to a shorter term time frame. So we're looking at a five minute chart. So like I said, the market closed about an hour and a half ago. So here's what Snap did. It closed right here, about the 2, uh, 2475 level, and it dropped after the earnings announcement, and then it bounced back up a little bit. Now it's trading about 2326. So a in the expected move would have worked here. The expected move for Snap was about three bucks. So definitely within the expected move there. The other one announcing after the market closed was UAL, which is United Airlines. Expected move of about two and a half bucks. 
And what did UAL do after hours? A whole lot of choppy nothing. So pretty close to where it started uh, or ended the day. So that one would have played well inside the expected move as well. And then lastly, what was the other one? There was one more after the bell, Snap, United, and Capital One, COF. Capital One Financial. And what did Capital One do? Capital One is down, so it closed at about a little under 63 bucks, currently trading at 60. The expected move was a little over two bucks. So it is out of its expected move to the downside by a little bit. So. That's what's going on in earnings. What did we do today? Well, we closed out an iron duck. And what else did we do? Oh, yeah, closed out a bunker trade, and we rolled a position that we had in SMH. So no, uh, no new positions, but hopefully if we get a little downside action, a little pop in applied volatility, potentially do some earnings trades, that's what we're looking at for tomorrow. Talk to you then.